Let's do it then. Where are I spinning? Twelve. Kra King Kra Custom Rally saved in slot bottom. A and we'll bob along in the food. That low grumble of the boxer engine. This thing is heavy. I'm kind of glad I'm playing it in the rain because it is a big, heavy box. Feel the weight of this thing. It's it's a big box. This thing steers like an absolute boat.
Group A, baby! A little bit late, because I tried to do some Minecraft parkour last night, but then got tilted. So it didn't go very well. I should have just finished. Should have just finished the rest of the Group S. But we're Sunday night, I'm thinking. It's solidly looking like Sunday night. A Sunday night means I can grind a lot less. I don't have to absolutely fucking floor it. Because right now I'd have to floor it to get there. And I'm well behind on uploads because... I've yet again finished uploading it really late at night. So I can't get any uploads done today. So I can't get any uploads done tomorrow morning either. Looking at a bit of a bad circle around. So yeah, I can't get any uploads done today. Tomorrow I'm out until the afternoon. And then I'll upload tomorrow evening. Then yeah, Sunday I'll probably end up getting uploaded Monday morning. But yeah. I was surprised how few cars there are in this though. Honestly. Like, there's six. And I thought I got lucky with... Um, yeah, five, five regular six with the kingpin. Like, I thought I got lucky with... Uh, group S not having many cars and I could kind of understand Group S not having many cars you know it never ran <laughs> that there is no such thing as Group S they were all prototypes so the fact that there's more prototype cars then also isn't this isn't this Subaru WRC like this, I don't think this ever actually ran. It was the Legacy in Group A, wasn't it? Subaru Legacy instead of the Impreza. Like this is the, to give this its full title, I thought this was the Subaru Impreza WRC. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure that this is the fucking WRC car, but that's fine. Because the Kingpin's WRC as well. Yeah, there's a guy who lives near me with one of these, with uh, all the rally stripes on the side of it, it's cool. He drives it not like a twat, it's hilarious. Like, he literally big toes it away from the traffic lights every time I see him, because I mostly see him at traffic lights it seems for some reason. Um, but he big toes it. But you know that that thing could go wrong. But he's just like, silent drives off. It's got all the stickers and everything. Like, so unless all the exhausts at the back are fake. But it does look like he's big turning it, like in terms of just the, the way it drives. I do think it's funny how we've both gone, ah oh, sick, that guy's got like a, a WRC car that's, it's all tricked out, it looks WRC spec. It's probably not actually got all the roll cages and stuff, it's probably just stickers. But yeah, we're, we're thinking, oh that's so cool. But then I saw a chap on a bike, on a very, very nice bike, uh, 
the cheapest version of said bike is let's actually go google it because I know what it is it was a trek uh, da, 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 road bikes Ro road bikes oh I know I know the name of it let me select that one it's the Madone so it's a Trek Madone don't need to watch a film about your bike. I know it's a trek down because it looks stupid. <laughs> There's a fucking duck ass cutout in the back of it. What's the cheapest Madone you can get? With the cutout. So you can get the old one for four and a half grand. But the new one with the cutout, the cheapest one you can get is £5,625. RRP at least might be cheaper But this guy I don't know what he had because he went past and I just waved and said hi This guy said to me Sorry, no, he didn't say to me anything We're saying that that's cool that the guy's got the Subaru, right? I went past this guy saw that he had a Trek saw it's a nice nice bike modern bike Wouldn't want one myself, but don't want to deal with the bollocks of all the internal cable routing. But anyway, nice bike. Oh, and he's wearing Trek kit too. It's three seasons ago's Trek kit. So you know he's he looks factory, but you know he's not. But at the same time, you know that that guy driving around in, uh, in the Subaru isn't actually a Subaru WRC driver because they don't exist anymore <laughs> so but it's it's cool and you know it even like with football people wear football shirts and stuff like that but people get laughed at for wearing cycling team kit if you're not part of the team you'll get laughed at also you lol at Trek Factory Rider but their team is actually Trek Factory Racing they're one of the few teams in cycling to have a true factory team, especially on the road. I can't think of anyone who's got a factory team that's actually a factory team on the road. Other than Trek Factory Racing, which might not even be Trek Factory Racing anymore. Like, there's the effectively a factory team, like Canyon uh, with Alpacinda Koenig. But they're not even a title sponsor. Let's go pro cycling stats teams. Women's teams. So you've got Canyon SRAM, who are cut there, that's a, this is a women's team. Canyon SRAM. Uh, they're, a, they're pretty much factory. UAE team is, for the women's and the men's, they are factory Colnago. This is really interesting. UAE bought uh, Colnago. Uh, the UAE sponsored team sponsored by the country is effectively factory Colnago an Italian brand and they're not even using Campagnolo who were also bought by the same people uh, Little Trek that's it Little Trek is Trek Factory Racing so they're not even Trek Factory Racing anymore there's Trek Factory off-road team um, who else Canyon Sram, there was another one. Live. Live J. Koalula. Their factory. Because the other J. Koalula team rides giants and Live is the women's brand of giant. They're practically I'd say they're probably factory. But it's not the same as being a factory outfit in in cars. And to be fair. 
even the actual factory teams is not the same because you can't race a um, you can't race a prototype. There's only you, there's only certain amount and certain times you can race prototypes in cycling. Everything has to be available to the customer within a certain number of months, which is always a really interesting rule. Because you can use it once and then claim it never worked. But they'll catch you if you keep doing it. If you keep just, oh, that last one didn't work. So we're going to use this one, this new one. Now you need to make one of these available to the customer. It's also why if you look up some of the Olympic team track bikes for like the French Olympic team, if you look up how much, you'll be able to buy one, but I'm pretty sure it's like 50, 50 grand because they don't want you to buy one. <laughs> You're not supposed to be buying this bike. They have made 12. They don't want to make another one. I think someone on the French team did jokingly say, if we sell one of these, then somebody doesn't have a bike. <laughs> Greg for Greg and I are just like me for real for real. He wears Greg Minar wears t-shirts just like I do. He's no longer on Santa Cruz though, so if you've got a Santa Cruz, you are not like Greg Minar. You need to get a Norco that's got a bit of a wacky paint scheme. I think it's quite cool. Some people have been shitting on it. I think it looks alright. I think there's some angles that it looks a bit weird because there's there's some bright colours that meet with some dark colours at weird places and they kind of don't blend very well. But I think it looks fine when you're not staring at those places. Like it it looks a bit crap. The problem is one of them meets at the suspension, at the rear suspension. So people are looking at it because people want to look at how the front, how, how the rear suspension works. So there's pictures of very up close and it looks crap there, I will be honest. But when you take a step back and you look at the bike as a whole, it looks good. And I bet it looks even better as it hurtling down a hill. <laughs> Santa Cruz are nice bikes though. Expensive as shit, but nice bikes. It's weird because this uh, this Fujin actually feels slower than Group S. It's it just feels slow because it's so heavy. That's the problem. I think that's why I like Group Two and Group Three quite a lot, and don't particularly care for Group Four as much as other people do. Because Group Four it gets heavy. Those cars feel heavy. Group Two and Three to a lesser extent. They're not fast, but they're not heavy, they flick around, they're nice. But that's just a heavy car. What we got in the men's pro? Only going for World Tour. Oh, I could go through the other ones. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no one's factory in. Uh Men's Conti and Women's Conti, there's too many teams because they don't have two versions. They don't have Pro Conti and Non Pro Conti, they just have the one. Which is a better system, I'll be honest. But uh, it does mean that the, <laughs> it does mean the beast is a lot longer. So, who, who is actually Factory? Oh, Jayco Alula aren't giant Jayco Alula. 
Uh, Little Trek. They are a rebranded Trek Factory Racing. UAE is effectively Factory Colnago. Is Arkea a bike brand? If Arkea is a bike brand, then they're definitely factory, but I can't remember if they're actually a bike brand right now. And Alpes and are effectively a uh, Canyon factory team, for all it matters. Mountain biking is different, pretty much everyone's a factory team in mountain biking. It's actually backwards in mountain biking to road cycling, where there's a couple of teams that behave like factory teams, but aren't. Like uh, Pivot Factory Racing. So technically, Underlying's team is the Bernard Kerr Racing Team. If Pivot stops sponsoring them, the team continues to exist. They just need to find another sponsor. Pivot has just bought the title sponsor name as Factory, and they, you know, they are a Factory team for all, all other intents and purposes. But that, it's not like. Uh, Yeah, it's not like other factory teams. A couple of the teams are Factory Wheels teams though, even though they're not title sponsored. I don't think, honestly, cycling is in a rough spot at the minute, where there's hardly any spon title sponsorships from bike brands. Although that kind of has always been the case, to be fair. Oh, De what the fuck am I thinking about? Decathlon are fucking... What's the rest of Decathlon's name? The Agitour? Decathlon Agitour are factory. Decathlon slash Van Riesel is their high-end bike brand. But effectively, Decathlon. They're an actual factory team. On the mountain bike side, they used the actual brand instead of Decathlon, but they're, they're a factory team. It's just better to advertise. In mountain biking, they're advertising the bike brand as Rock Rider. In, uh, in road cycling, they know that there's a bit bigger of an audience, so it's better to get it out as Decathlon, but it's the same.
Nice, nice. You actually running the stages or just doing time trial? Like actually running the custom rally stages. I should probably do some Germany. Maybe that's what I'll do, because uh, I know I'm going to want to play this as soon as I get up Sunday morning. I know I'm going to want to play this and grind through the levels. But I need to wait till Sunday evening so that any fucker watches me. So maybe I'll do some cat face on uh, Sunday morning. It is a long rally. It'll feel short for me though, because these 12 stage ones are really long. Which is kind of something that, like, um, everyone said that, uh, what's it, it's really long. Uh, this Germany is really long, which basically means nobody playing Catface is going to want to do 12 stage custom rally runs. If you think that's long. How the hell are you going to cope with 12 stages? The Ultimate Endurance Championship, yeah. I mean, it's not even endurance, because the damage is off. So it doesn't matter. Which is good, because I don't think I'd be able to complete them all if terminal damage was available. I'd probably still be grinding through group 2. Thinking, ah, oh, fucking hell.
I pointed it the correct way this time. Just about got the hang of the car. Ignore the crashes, but like I feel like I know how much to lean it in and actually get it to turn. He does. How's it going? I'm nearly done with this game. Then I can get back to Minecraft speedruns. You know, like um, the the defrag records thing. I've got to wait for the defrag records thing because my microphone, the wind filter's fallen off of it, and sometimes it makes horrible noises, and you can hear me breathing. So I've got to wait for my for the replacements to come in, and then I can grind and get the get that video made
Oh, sub 30, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, 29, 28, 31. Cheers, Turbo.